yeah, it's hard being an Avenged Sevenfold fan these days, y'all. They're making it so hard. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are reacting to another new Avenged Sevenfold song titled We Love You. So I have no idea what to expect with this song. I've seen some reviews online already and people are saying that it's really weird. I've seen a lot of people saying they don't know how to feel about it. So I have a feeling it's going to be very experimental just like the last song that came out. Uh, the last song, Nobody, I actually did a reaction to that and in that video I didn't really know how to feel. On one hand, as a lifelong Avenged Sevenfold fan, I was excited to hear them doing different things and not really caring about putting out what's going to be the most mainstream successful. But on the other hand, I wasn't really feeling it completely. But now that some time has passed, the song has grown on me a lot and I do listen to it regularly like almost every day so I feel like I'm slowly loving the song. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen but it has been happening. By the way, I know it looks like I finger banged a demon but this is just paint so let's just ignore this today. It's gonna be distracting but I can't get it off. It's driving me crazy. Okay, this is it. Like I said, I don't really know what to expect. I'm kind of worried as a lifelong fan. You know, lately, ever since the stage, this band has been hit or miss for me. I want to really like this. I want to like the new album. Let's just get into it. That's not what I expected to hear right off the bat. Hold on for a second. Okay, you definitely hear the punk drumming style from Brooks Wackerman right off the bat. It's giving like punk slash crossover thrash drumming, which is cool, but like these vocals, they have this weird glitchy thing going on. I, it's very weird. Okay. By the way, this video is supposed to be like a VR 360 video. I don't have a VR headset, but I bet it's really cool and immersive if you do have that. That's cool. Yeah. More power, more pace, more money, more. This voice sounds so more different. Sex, more pills, <laughs> this more reminds me of something. Skin, more chills, build tall, build higher, build far, build wider, build here. Okay, weird music aside, I know this is experimental, weird stuff aside, uh, I'm not digging Matt's vocals either. They just sound weird and tired and uh, I know they're trying to think outside the box, but what's going on here? This reminds me of something. It reminds me of that band with Mike Patton, uh, Scott Ian from Anthrax, uh, Dave Lombardo. Um, it's like a... <laughs> What do they call it? It's like supposed to be like crappy metal, <laughs> like junk metal or something. I forget what they call it, but it's like experimental, weird, thrash slash punk slash just off the wall shit. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Girls, we love you. Oh my god! I haven't heard Matt scream like that in a long time. I like hearing Matt scream again. Makes me feel like a kid. <laughs> riff is kind of cool, but the, the vocals just not doing it for me. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of something from my childhood. Is it like a TV show intro song or something? God, someone help me. I cannot figure out what this sounds like. I like that riff. Ooh. <laughs> it's 
sorry. I'm trying to... That's actually kind of beautiful. Ooh, come through with the falsetto. Okay, they blue balled me. I was expecting something fucking epic to happen, but I just went back to the chorus. This feels so dystopian and just like end of the world, kind of like apocalyptic in a way, but with it makes me feel like the world got destroyed by AI and this is where we ended up. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta finish the song, but that little thrash moment we had was pretty badass. Okay, if the rest of the song sucks, that's fine. That was badass. <laughs> Voice is so weird these days. Look at the way that you choose. You know you never lose. And all that you worry was all you deserved anyway. Ooh. That reminded me of the Beatles in a weird way. And we love you. Oh, that's pretty. I love you too, M. Shadows. Thank you for your service. And we love you. This is actually really pretty. You know, but I'm also like scared for my life for some reason. <laughs> I don't know how to feel right now. Okay, so that's my reaction to Avenge Sevenfold's We Love You. Now, let me think about my thoughts for a second here. Okay, it's not what I expected at all. It is what I expected in the way that it's going to be weird. And I know Avenge Sevenfold has really been into this just like experimental, weird, almost psychedelic phase ever since the stage days. Um, it didn't really hit for me fully. I just feel like... It almost feels like it's trying too hard to be artsy and random and it doesn't really hit for me. Um, I feel like it's, I'm 14 and this is deep, you know, one of those things. I don't know. I feel like that with some of their lyrics sometimes, like, 
sometimes you don't have to be so strange and odd to paint a message for people or I don't know I just feel like it's trying too hard to be artsy a little bit but for what it is it was really cool um some of the parts got me excited I really liked that thrashy part like I said and it really does remind me of that band that I was talking about I cannot remember their name but I'll put it on the screen here but I don't really know what they're going for with this new sound or this new album. It just feels a little bit directionless, which is probably the whole point. But I'm just apparently not a deep thinker or something because it doesn't really do much for me. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Um, I've always loved Avenged Sevenfold and I think their albums have had such a big impact on me over time that they're never really going to ruin their legacy with me as a fan. And I'm sure this one will grow on me a little bit just like nobody did. Um, but, yeah, it's hard being an Avenged Sevenfold fan these days, y'all. They're making it so hard. <laughs> but I do want to keep supporting them. I, I do want to see them live, and, you know, it is cool that they're doing something different instead of releasing the same album 20 times like some bands do. So, you know, respect to them for doing that and releasing what they want to release and not what the world wants. That's pretty respectable. But anyways, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think of this song. I'm going to listen to it more and more and see how I feel about it over time. And I'm going to wrap up this video right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for future music related content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.